Inspiring Minds engages, inspires, and empowers youth to reach their full potential through education and exposure to life-changing experiences. We do this through focusing on five areas, education, college and career readiness, personal development, exposure to new experiences, and health and wellness. Hello, my name is Katrina Peru, and I'm the Executive Director of Inspiring Minds. And the opportunity to start uh, Inspiring Minds, the New York City chapter came up. I thought it was a great opportunity to be able to create a model that will connect the youth to their communities, connecting them to mentors, connecting them to internships, connecting them to professionals in their community that look like them. By the time I was a senior in high school, I had at least 25 full scholarship offers to go to school. That would not have been possible if it was not for my community. Hi, I'm Lindsay Fauntleroy. I'm the director of the In My Element program of wellness and leadership for girls. The most um, impactful way of teaching and educating is the kind of education that brings out from the students what they already know inside. They were able to bring their life and their experiences to the table and I was able to bring a framework for helping them to understand and organize those experiences and I think together it was a really great teamwork. My name is Ayanna Brown. My favorite part of this program has been when I came together with all the different girls from my school because we didn't really speak like that, but when we got into the program, we all built a bond and a sisterhood and we all became closer than how we were before when we first started. We had an organization that was um, intentional about bringing culturally responsive uh, organizations from the community that really uh, had a stake in the community to the table, um, that uh, knew how to reach our kids. I love the whole idea, the whole concept. It was essential that Sankofa Community Empowerment be a part of this. In our program, we were learning about this book called Greenwash. Basically, what it's about is like our founding fathers basically set us on a path of failure. They no longer enforce it, we enforce it ourselves because through gang violence, calling ourselves the N word and our females, the D word. My name is Nakiba A. Wall, and I am the founder and executive director of YAX Educational Consulting. I am heading up the civic engagement portion through YAX with Inspiring Minds. And essentially, we break down civic engagement through an acronym for civic, uh, which stands for centering and identifying our viewpoints and voice in our communities. Our first tour was at Penn State University, which was my alma mater. Each visit, they get a chance to interact with the current students who are there. I would be up here not telling the truth if I said it was, it's been a cakewalk the whole time. It hasn't, it's gotten hard for me, but my why and my future was way more important. I want voice no more. That's why I definitely like sit up front. That way like you are always looking at your professor and then also when you sit up front, your professor gets to know your face too. This year, we hosted our first youth conference. Uh, the theme of it was Our Story, Our Voice. It's very important for us that our youth have a platform to be able to share their ideas, come up with solutions, and to have meaningful discussions with each other and also the larger community. Now, now. more than ever, more than ever, all the brothers and sisters, all the brothers and sisters, must come together, must come together, all the brothers and sisters everywhere, all the brothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum. My name is Tabari Zaid Bomani, founding principal of Nelson Mandela School for Social Justice, leader of Inspiring Minds. Ms. Peru has been one of the best thought partners that I've ever met in terms of working as a principal in the school. She gets the importance of culture relevant pedagogy and culture relevant uh, school culture. She gets the idea around being social justice 
She is extremely committed to this idea of student empowerment and students being able to own their learning. So as she pushes me, I can push the school. As we think together, then I can think really critically about what to do with the young brothers and sisters in this building that we love so much.